Even though Fabian is the main name behind Luxo, he co-founded the project with his wife, Marjorie Hernandez. Neither of them is CEO. Luxo actually doesn't have a CEO. Marjorie is a talented designer and architect who has had experience in branding, art, and even blockchain before she co-founded Luxo. The IOTA Foundation became one of my clients at Ernst & Young. She has several intriguing opinions. You know, but a lot of people might think that. A lot of people think, hey, we're going to have iPhones forever. The answer is no, you won't have an iPhone forever. Yeah, I agree. Just like, like computers are not the size of whole rooms, thankfully, anymore. You know, it's just part yeah. of the process. She's likable. There's a lot of bars in Berlin. You could pay with Bitcoin in 2013. And, you know, we dropped more than one Bitcoin in bars, which was in hindsight, not the best decision. <laughs> <laughs> and seems to manage the branding fashion part of Luxo project. Fabian is the name in Luxo. Arguably, his major impact on blockchain space was creation of ERC20 standard back in his Ethereum days. Essentially, Fabian made ICO craze of 2017 possible. It took me like some about like a, a year or so to even realize that, okay, all of this ICO stuff, yeah, that was, you know, came through that. I, I like to actually do things that are, that have a big impact. He strikes me as a quiet person standing on the sidelines, like this famous Ethereum picture shows. More often than not, it's the more discreet people who get things done, not the vocal ones. So what's holding back blockchain adoption? We are in this space now since like 10 plus years. But do people really use blockchain on a daily basis? And the answer is for trading, right? Or maybe some DeFi, but not necessarily on a, on a real like daily basis. On the contrary, when Fabian speaks, he's clear and precise. Decentralization is actually a very useful tool because it actually removes you from responsibility. And who wants to have a responsibility? Everybody wants to put it, put it to the edges. Thanks, guys. He is clever too, making jokes and keep the presentation exciting. I thought that was the best talk today. In the history of NFT NYC, I don't think we've ever had an audience say they want more, more, more. If you are looking or thinking to invest into people, Fabian seems like a dark horse. So we basically rethought all of these token standards that we have. Fabian developed LSPs, Luxo standard proposals, which is a set of standards that could serve as a blueprint for the future. It's in a way like an, a, a 2.0 version of these standards. 